Yo, what's going on gamers? It's Ryan six days a week, and today we're going to be going over how to block and dodge all of the nightmare demons that you'll find in High Roller Inferno. In this guide, we'll be covering the Nightmare Demon Berserker, Demon Dog, Demon Bat, and the Demon Centaur. If this is something that you and your team are attempting for the first time, I do suggest getting practice in the normal lobbies first. The demons and normals both attack slower and deal less damage, so you'll have a much easier time learning the basic moves. Alright, first, let's begin with the Nightmare Demon Berserker. The Nightmare Demon Berserker has two primary attacks that are both diagonal slashes starting from either the top right or top left. To dodge these two attacks, simply duck, crouch, and move towards whichever side the swing starts on. If a combo chain occurs, well, the attacks will just alternate side to side, so just keep moving left and right to dodge the attacks, and attack back when there's an opening. There's also a randomly appearing third attack that is a 360 spin, but this one can simply just be ducked, no other action is needed. Do be careful though, if you do use this strategy, you'll need a decent amount of space, as moving left and right to dodge these attacks will slowly force you backwards, and potentially can trap you if you aren't careful. That's actually why I prefer this new method that's popped up, which involves just circling the Demon Berserker counterclockwise. With this method, you simply just jump the counterclockwise swing, and then duck the clockwise one. You can actually do this while continuously attacking as well, so it makes solo clearing these berserkers pretty quick, as long as you react fast enough. If you feel you're too slow to be dodging the Demon Berserker, like Heavy Plate, it can also be staggered with a buckler by blocking any of the attacks. Just be sure that when you're blocking the clockwise swing, or the attack that comes from the right side, you aim high enough. I originally was going to say just aim up and to the left or right at 45 degrees, but for the right side, push it a little higher, maybe like 60 degrees, because the attack can go over the shield, and at that point, it'll be perfectly aimed at your head. So just be sure if you're blocking, aim high on the right side. Next, we have the Demon Dog, which is much easier as it only has the forward lunge, just like its elite version. So to dodge the Nightmare Demon Dog, just move forward and to the left or right of the dog as it attacks. The only difference with the Nightmare Demon Dog is it has an electrified nape that will deal some magic damage to you if struck. If you do wish to block these, which I actually do not recommend, as strafe dodging is much much easier, just crouch, move backwards, and look slightly upwards. The main reason why I don't recommend blocking is that occasionally the demon dog will be too close to you when initiating its attack, and it will actually not activate its attacking hitbox until it's past your shield, so it can be pretty risky. Now we have the Nightmare Demon Bat, which also has the exact same attack as its elite and normal variants, but instead, much faster. Here, just strafe to either side closely, almost as if you were to walk past it. Strafing too far away actually increases your chances of getting hit due to how the legs kick out at the end of its attack. The special ability on these Nightmare Demon Bats is that its hits will apply a heavy slow, so often getting hit just once may end up being lethal, as the follow-up attacks are almost always guaranteed to land. If you do decide to block these Demon Bats, just line up your crosshair with where the stomach is on the bat. The higher the better in this case, since sometimes the feet do go over the shield. Finally, we have the Demon Centaur, which seems threatening at first due to its size and move speed, but is actually quite easy to dodge. The Demon Centaur will either attack in a counterclockwise angled chop, or a horizontal clockwise swing. To dodge the counterclockwise chop, simply just move to the left, where the swing begins from. Ducking your head down and away will help with this if you're struggling with the timing, but it's not required. For the clockwise horizontal swing, Simply just ducking and looking down will work. The swing does have a slight downwards tilt, so if you're on uneven terrain, it does help to move to the right slightly to ensure you are clear. So in general, as long as you duck and move to whichever side the swing begins on, you won't get hit. There's also another mechanic which only happens if you or a teammate are just outside of melee range, and that is the centaur charge. But simply strafing to the side will let you dodge both of the charge types. It's better to fight close anyways, and this mechanic only happens if you're a little bit too far away. One more note on the centaur is that it's the only demon at this current time that does not get staggered by the buckler. So technically you can block it, but it won't interrupt any attacks, so it makes solo blocking pretty difficult. 
Alright gamers, good luck navigating the inferno layer and I hope this guide could come in handy. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment them down below or just find me on Twitch Tuesdays or Thursdays. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.